a su casa.
Today is the culmination of many years of working for all of you. And as you sit here reflecting upon that, waiting for your turn to come up and shake my hand, um, I hope you think back about all of the experiences which you've had here. Not just the study and the achievement, the qualifications which you have done, but also the experiences and the personal friends and networks that you have built up. This time at university is very precious, and today is a combination of those celebrations and thoughts, so I do hope you enjoy this ceremony. Before we proceed, I must acknowledge the Ghana people, the original custodians of the land on which the University of Adelaide's campuses are built, both here in North Terrace, Deberton, uh, Waite, and Rosewood. Today, it does give me great pleasure to introduce our orator, who is a graduate in chemical engineering, Mr. John Carajorges. Mr. Carajorges is the managing director and founder of Manta Controls, a company which offers specialised consulting services in optimisation process control, general process control, safety systems, and process information systems. Manta Control started in May 2004. And now has 10 employees. There was a Telstra Business Awards finalist in 2009 and 2013. Ms. Karen Georges aims to establish land controls as a top performing process control engineering company in the minerals industry. Prior to founding land controls, Mr. Karen Georges was staff control engineer at Santos from 2002 until 2004. He was a process controller with the Virgin Superintendent of Company Consolidated Gold Mines from 1997 to 2002, and Metallurgical Process Control Group Leader at Mount Isa Mines from 1992 to 1997. And I believe that uh, Mount Isa was where he first went after graduating here from the University of Adelaide in 1989. We are privileged to hear from somebody with so much experience today. And we very much look forward to his words of advice and guidance to not only the graduates, but to all of us as we celebrate. So may I welcome Mr. Carey. Chancellor, Deputy Chancellor, Vice Chancellor and President, our distinguished guests and members of staff. Uh, to the parents, welcome, and to all the graduates, congratulations. Look, well done guys, all that hard work has finally paid off. All those times that uh, you're preparing for assignments, all those tests you've done, and I don't know how many exams you've sat, but that's all that. I'm here today to pass on some life learnings. Um, I was here some 25 years ago. Uh, I graduated from Chemeng, and my my journey, my career, it's been amazing. And I've also it was quite amazing to uh, see what my other uni buddies uh, have got into. Before I start, can you do me one favour? <clears throat> Today you're going to receive your uh, degree. Please frame it. Please take it home in a special place, put it on the wall, hang it with pride. Just do that for me, please. Now, as I look at all the graduates and parents, this might shock you. We are actually looking at our future leaders. I don't say that lightly. Um, some of you are going to become CEOs of companies. Some of you are going to become general managers. Uh, divisional managers, presidents, vice presidents of companies. It's true, it will happen. Some of you are going to start your own business. You're going to create new ideas. You're going to have new ideas and create things that we haven't actually seen yet. And it's coming from you guys. Um, the reason I say that is if I take a step back and reflect in my 25 years and all my new ones, I have friends who are general managers. I have friends who are CEOs. Um, one of my 
best uni buddies is one of the head honchos for BHP and he's working in Singapore. We catch up every year. I still see him as, a, as my gentleman and we just sit there and laugh because we can't believe where we've got to. So we are looking at our future leaders in front of us. And, and one thing is you have to believe uh, in, in yourself. It's very important. Some people, a lot of people are going to tell you, find out what you love doing and go and do, and go and do that. There's one thing that I don't tell you. They don't tell you how to find out what you love doing. Now, I know you will find that. That's a bit of a longer story. But I know that it, it happens with time. It takes about eight to 10 years. That's one thing they don't tell you. So in about eight or 10 years time, you will actually know what it is you want to be doing. Um, it took me around eight to ten years to find that out and I've spoken to other friends and other um, uh, business friends and funny enough it's, it's about that time. So don't worry in your, if, if in your first or second or third year when you leave, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, if you haven't found what it is you love doing, don't worry, it, it'll come, it'll come. Now um, we are graduating Sorry, you guys are graduating in tough times, no doubt about that. But there's some learnings in that and there's some good things about it. Um, some of you may have not found work yet. Don't worry, you will, it's okay. I know it's hard to say, but I talk from experience. So I'm gonna tell you a little story. This is my story uh, from when I left university to when I started working. I graduated in 1990 and times were great. You found work, we, we all found work. Um, I worked for Alcoa, and then I, I found with myself, I got bored. So after 12 months, I left. And the times were such that you can go find another, another job. I came back to Adelaide, I worked for Santos. I did this thing called Reservoir Engineering. My mind was fixated on this thing called Process Control. I didn't enjoy what I was doing. It wasn't leading me to where I wanted to go. Um, so I left, thinking I'd find another job. This was in 90, towards the end of 91. And parents, if you remember, I think Paul Keating was our, our Prime Minister and we had, we had the recession that we had to have. I started applying for work, rejection after rejection. There were salary freezes, there were job freezes. We had redundancies, similar to now. I was unemployed for 10 months. My wife, uh, I was, there was a baby on the way unemployed, a lot of debts to add to the stress. And then um, there was a job going at Mount Isa, so I applied for it. And I got a Dear John letter. Dear John, thank you very much, blah, 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 blah. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go and ring up and find out why. So I did, I rang up HR, and what they said was, well, uh, I asked them and said, do you know why I didn't get the job? And they said, no, but let us find out, and we'll come back to you. They rang me back the next day, and they said, how flexible are you? I said, like, this is odd. I said, can you please come up for an interview? And that's where my life started. We moved to Mount Isa. I fell in love with minerals. I'm, I'm in love with the minerals industry. Um, and what that taught me was persevere. Don't give up. Don't believe others who say, no, you can't do that. Right? Persevere. Because of course you can do it. Nothing's impossible. Now, there's a few things before I, before I leave you guys that I want to also pass on to you. Um, please, um, be modest. Be humble. Be kind to other people. One important thing, become trustworthy. People remember that. Another thing is, you are going to be managers and you're going to have groups of people working for you. When you're working with people, be fair. After 10 years, I've had people turn around and they remember things that you've done because you were fair, so please be fair. Another thing is give people a chance because sometimes someone just needs a break because you're young now, but you've got a huge future in front of yourselves. So just remember, please give people a break. One thing about yourself is you don't actually know your capability. Uh, I, I can see capability 
uh, from you're full of energy. So you don't actually understand your capability, but your friends do. So if your friends say, geez, you're really good at that, listen to them. They actually, they can see it. And that, that leads on to, you know, you have to believe in yourself. Especially in tough times, you feel a little bit discouraged. You might, uh, you know, you, you start to disbelieve yourselves, but don't. When you're working, work hard. Add value to the company that you're working for. It's really important. But it's not all about work. Please find time for your family and your friends. You need a bit of your time as well. And one lesson in life, please never lose your integrity. Okay? Now, once again, look, congratulations um, to all the graduates. Look, you've got a, you have got a great future in front of you. You are going to change our lives. You're going to change my children's lives because we are looking at future leaders in front of us. And I speak from experience. Um, and finally, parents, well done. You've raised a good, good bunch of kids. Congratulations to you too. And look, thank you and please enjoy the rest of today. On behalf of the graduates and their families, Attending today's ceremony, I would like to thank Mr. John Karagiorgis for their stimulating and inspiring address. We are honoured that you have taken the time to join us on this special day to share with us your thoughts and experiences. Your words of encouragement and advice are greatly appreciated. They remind us that education places upon each of us an enduring responsibility to make the best possible use of our talents and to contribute to the betterment of society in whatever way we can. Please join me in once again thanking Mr. John Karagiorgis. I will now receive the candidates for degrees and call upon the Vice-Chancellor. Deputy Chancellor, I, Professor Warren Bebbington, Vice Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, certify to you and the whole university that the graduates who will be presented to you have fulfilled all the conditions prescribed for admission to the awards for which they are so presented. I, Diane Davidson, Deputy Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, by virtue of the power committed to me by the University, confirm that each graduate is admitted to the rank and privilege of a holder of the award in the University of Adelaide for which they are so presented. Deputy Chancellor, I, Professor John Bynan, present to you graduates from the Faculty of Engineering, Computer and Mathematical Sciences. To the degree of Bachelor of Mathematical Sciences, Liam Richard Banks. Lachlan David Bubb. Thomas James Dolan. and Thomas John Werry. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences, Natalie Veronica Aguirre Fialio. <laughs> Michael John Argerides. Lydia Alma Brownak Meyer, who also receives the Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Reese Elliott Oscar Cook. <laughs> Ms. 
Nicholas Paul Foley. Lucy Hannah Griffith. Kwan Yu Lin. Wan Lin Long. Lisa Kate McCalden, who also receives the Bachelor of Finance. Jonathan James Pantelis. David Robert Piper. Corey J. Pontifex. Shaquilla Zafar. To the degree of Bachelor of Engineering and Bachelor of Science, Anuat Achik Kaur. To the degree of Bachelor of Engineering and Bachelor of Arts, Antoine Kenneth Odi. To the degree of Bachelor of Engineering, Amira Abdul Rahman. Emily Grace Bender. Jared Stephen Brahm. Michael Buterin. Callan George Byfield. Ji Chen. Tsu Ya Chung. Angus John Church. Francesco Nathan Condo. Adrian Kazik Dobritsky. Ken Ear. Lachlan Earl. Thomas Ernest Evans. R.C. Gayatri G.T. Rajendran. Greg Kelso Goldman. Yu Ting Crystal Eugenia Law. Kerry Lin, who also receives a diploma in languages. Wunji Liu. Sebastian Matyushko. George Nicholas Edward Manias. Edwin Douglas Howard Mitchell. Andreas Roy Pettifer. Pham Hai Son. Henry Richard Schilk. Scott James Schultz. James Quang Tran. And Yahweh Zhu. To the degree of Bachelor of Computer Science, Thomas Donal Allen. Samuel Taylor Bishop.
Dion James Blackley. Scott Gregory Carey. Caleb Spencer Chadwick. David Bradley Cole. Michael Carl Herman. Chi Chie Li. Simon James Packard. Stephen James Kenneth Riddell. Matthew Abraham Scutter. And Tao Li. To the degree of Bachelor of Computer Graphics, Joshua Robert Chapman. And Sam Ryan Gurn. To the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Science, Richard John Frame. and Gordon Dennis Hardy. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Aaron Fong Wei Shan. <laughs> Kasim Al Rashid. Peter Godfrey Anastasio, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. <laughs> Hayden Colin Axon. <laughs> Raja Muhammad Daniel bin Raja Abdul Rahman. Vivian Cow, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. <laughs> Michael Carrasco. <laughs> Rafael Domenico Caruso. <laughs> Chun Chun. Chung Shu Hon. <laughs> Joseph Clark. <laughs> Thomas David Cotton. <laughs> Bradley Andrew Chabania. Dominic Michael Waldorf Davis, who also receives the Diploma in Languages. <laughs> Michael Anthony De Angelis, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. <laughs> Paul Christian de Blasio. <laughs> Joshua Adam Dilmitz. Kieran John Doherty, who also received a Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. <laughs> Jacob Drury. <laughs> Ethan Lucas Ellis. <laughs> Sergei Fadeev. Liam Sidney Jungwoo Fenson. <laughs> Leighton Eric Foster.
David Matthew Freund. Jordan James Gallagher Gruber. Scott Gregor Germain. Daniel James Gray. Thomas Gregory, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. Edward Charles Griffin. Angus John Grosskreutz. Yu Hao Gu. Philip James Heusler. Nathan Lee Hallman. Fraser Gray Hampton. Ewan James Haydinger, who also receives the Bachelor of Science. David Scott Hayden. David Anthony Ming Li here. Hei Pui Tam. Mark Andrew Edward here. Luke Michael Hoffmeyer. Joshua Aaron Hobbs. Jim Yuan Hu. Tony Huong, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. Hu Duk Tran. Alexander Peter Ayanella. Kadi Jamal. Caroline Marta Yanchuk. Dominic Paul Jarko. John Dang Kwa Nguyen. Francis Gaynor Johnson, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. James Timothy Penfold Jolly. Sophie Jane Cass. Aboma Jebesa Kelly, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. <laughs> Jusan Dun Lee Ko. <laughs> Anna Elizabeth Kofa. <laughs> Nobin Albert Koirala. Vincent Singh Yu Kong. <laughs> Francesco Larizza, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. <laughs> Craig John Lawrence. <laughs> Odom Leev. Alexander James Lee. Isaac Leong.
Nathan John Levinson Johnson. Mitchell Gregory Lewis. Nicholas Lim. Andrew David Lloyd. Anthony Luzzi Curtis. Samuel Thomas Lowe, who also receives the Bachelor of Science. Sawa Luk Luxa Mimong Kolchai. Aju Manjail Yeldhosa. Martin Mansa. Jerry Anthony Mavrogiannis, who also receives the Bachelor of Economics. Simon Allen MacDonald. Joshua James George McLaughlin. Lawrence McLean, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. Christopher George McMichael. David James Seymour McMurray. James Messenger. James Cameron Metcalf, who also receives the Bachelor of Finance. William Michael Mildren. Jordy Miller. Alexander William Minchin. Pamela Marie Munoz. Thomas Graham Needley. Sean Ung. Leon Toonwin. Melanse Nziza. Daniel Jingju Ong, who also receives the Bachelor of Science. Anthony William Papa Giorgio. Damien Albert Pauli. Marco Ivan Petakovic. Peter Stephen Pham, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. Sid Fatak. Jonathan David Piper. Benjamin James Ramsey. Wayland Stephen Ramsey, who also receives the Bachelor of Finance. Nicholas Earl Reed, who also receives the Bachelor of Economics. John Bentley Robertson. Anthony Joseph Rocchisano. Rodrigo Miguel Rodriguez. <laughs> Anthony
Anton Andrew John Rossi. Joseph Angelo Sati. Ankit Shrian. Divya Parmeshwari Sivakuma. Aidan Luke Snoswell. Samuel Alex Sobi. Thomas and James Sobi. Adam Joseph Sotora. David John Soabats, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. Adam James Spencer, who also receives the Bachelor of Science. John Edward Springbet, who also receives the Bachelor of Science. Jamie Bryan Staples. Kirsty Elise Tanner. Abbas Khan Tarin. Matthew, Matthew Joshua Tripodi, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. Angus James Tullock, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. Matthew James Vavunis, who also receives the Bachelor of Finance. Abhinav Verma. Shubunka Verma. Jack Charles Vince, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. Juan Mohammed Sharafiz Juan Sulong. Daniel Wardle, who also receives the Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences. Joshua Ken Watson. Nicholas James Wells. Timothy James Wiggins. Nicholas Justin Williams. Coco Lulian Wong, who also receives the Bachelor of Science. Alexis Katsubernis Xenophon, who also receives the Bachelor of Economics. <laughs> Sheng Zhang. <laughs> and Joshua Paul Zauti. <laughs> to the honors degree of Bachelor of Mathematical Sciences, Kate Lindsay Atwell. Max Edward Glonick. And Wai Him Pun. To the honors degree of Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences, Peter Matthews. To the honors degree of Bachelor of Engineering, Chan Ho Sun. To the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Computer Science, Hayden James Faulkner. And Jerome Oscar Williams.
to the degree of Master of Software Engineering, Mohit Gupta. And Shu In Yo. To the degree of Master of Science, Petroleum Geoscience, Sahuri. To the degree of Master of Petroleum Engineering, Robert Samuel Buckerfield. <laughs> Wei Sun Chan. <laughs> Mohammed Ilya Anwar Che Mohammed Hussein. <laughs> Siti Noliana Che Mohammed Hussein. Kelvin Chong Chi An. <laughs> tu Huang An Li. <laughs> Yan Tang Lu. <laughs> Mohammed Fatsli Mohammed Ratsi. Luke Eric Norman. <laughs> Itiek B. Oanba. <laughs> Tung Tan Nguyen. <laughs> Christian David Winterfield. Yun Chong. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Petroleum Business Management, Marina Mohammed Taib. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering Advanced, Alexei Dev. To the degree of Master of Computing and Innovation, Karibi Sapriala Ambrose Hart. <laughs> Hai Jin Lin. <laughs> Nana Kwame Okiere Botang. and Yuan Kang Zhao. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Computer Science, Ji Yang. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering Mechanical, Andrew Robert Braham. Vignesh Ganapati Subia. <laughs> Hui Gao. <laughs> Jiankan Li. <laughs> Alric Anthony Joseph Lobo. Christopher Anton Monash. <laughs> Craig Anthony Robottom. <laughs> Simon Felix Thwaites. <laughs> Jared Charles Winders. Kian Yang. <laughs> Chi Zhang. <laughs> Dan Dan Zhang. <laughs> and Ji Chao Zhu.
to the degree of Master of Engineering Science for a thesis entitled An Evolutionary Approach to Physics-Based Modeling of Piezoelectric Actuators, Najas Miri. To the degree of Master of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Non-Commutative Geometry Methods in Number Theory, Conrad Carol Pilch. to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled A Mesh Architecture for Data Management of Matrix Computations, Adam Bernayuk. For a thesis entitled Matrix Analytic Methods with Markov Decision Processes for Hydrological Applications, Aidan James Fisher. For a thesis entitled The Experimental and Theoretical Study of Fines Migration in Porous Media under Particle Rock Repulsion and Attraction, R.G. Kaiser. For a thesis entitled Crash Avoidance by Electronic Stability Control on Australian High Speed Rural Roads, an Analysis of Breaking Interventions, James Richard Ryder McKenzie. For a thesis entitled Coupled Fire Atmosphere Simulations of Three Australian Fires Where Unusual Fire Behavior Occurred, Marika Peace. For a thesis entitled Explicit Dynamics Finite Element Modeling of Defective Rolling Element Bearings, Sarabjit Singh. For a thesis entitled Compressional Deformation and Exhumation in Sedimentary Basins at Passive Continental Margins with Implications for Hydrocarbon Exploration and Development, David Ronald Tassone. For a thesis entitled Road Safety and Mobility of Older Drivers in Rural versus Urban Areas, James Peter Thompson. And for a thesis entitled Software-Based Reference Protection for Component Isolation, Yuval Yarom. <laughs> Deputy Chancellor. Every year, the university presents university medals to acknowledge the most outstanding graduates in each faculty who've completed a University of Adelaide bachelor's degree with honours or bachelor's degree of at least four years duration. The university medals are awarded to students for their outstanding and consistent performance across the whole of their undergraduate studies. I, Professor Warren Bevington, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, present to you the winners of the 2014 University Medals for the Faculty of Engineering, Computer and Mathematical Science. Philip Heusler. <laughs> and Simon MacDonald. Well, that's that little bit of ceremony over, isn't it? But as uh, one of our orators yesterday said, today is the first day of the rest of your lives. And as 
John said today when he spoke to us, go home and hang that parchment on the wall with pride. We are very proud of you here at the University of Adelaide for all you have given and brought to us, and we hope that you are proud of what we've been able to give to you. So may I ask you all to applaud our graduates from today. It's a real privilege to be standing up here seeing each of you, you know, one at a time, thinking about your backgrounds, where you've come from, how, what brought you here, the work you've all gone through, the thought processes that have gone into writing some of those amazing theses, and I could sit down and have a proper lay discussion about those at some time. Uh, but you come from such uh, diverse points and mixed backgrounds. We are thrilled that you've landed here finally in the university. And as you now proceed out into the wider world, either for research or employment, do remember that uh, you are our alumni and you are our ambassadors. And you join a crowd of well over 150,000 alumni from the university who have passed out of here in the last 140 years. So you are joining good company and we do hope that you will stay in touch with us. I would like to thank Philip Hoisler for his work today as the mace bearer, and I'd also like to thank the staff who have organised the uh, whole ceremony this afternoon. Could I ask the graduates to remain seated one more time while the rest of you stand and we give a final round of applause. Now will the graduates please stand and all of you remain standing so that I may declare this congregation formally closed and would you remain standing for the academic procession. Thank you. <laughs>